Just like you, I want to have a lawn that looks great. I want long blades of grass that are beautiful. I want, uh, I want to cut my grass more often than this. But, uh, I want a lawn like this. This is my neighbor's house, and he pays good money to have his lawn long and beautiful and lush. I do not pay good money for that. And my lawn is filled with clovers and all sorts of things like that. So this year I decided to put down some Scott's Winter Guard and I think I've run into some trouble. Um, I don't own a drop spreader. And so when I spread it by hand, this is what happened. I think I kind of scorched it. So I'm hoping that it scorched all the weeds and that uh, somehow this spring it's gonna come back nice and lush and beautiful. I'm not sure that'll happen, but I do know that I'm saving about $30 a month by not paying True Green or one of the other competitors to come out here and treat my lawn like my neighbor. This is what my lawn looked like before. You can see all the clover and weeds and stuff mixed in. And here is an up close shot. And here's what happened after I walked through the yard spreading that winter guard stuff. So obviously spread it too thick. There's my neighbor's yard. Looks a lot like my yard, except without all of these burn lines all throughout it. So hopefully uh, the burn lines don't kill everything. You can see here, like the bare soil, that's not healthy for the lawn. Hopefully this grows back. Lesson learned by a drop spreader. A big shout out to all of you subscribers. We have now crested over a thousand subscribers. And so that's just awesome. Like, thank you guys so much for subscribing and commenting on this content. Uh, I will be posting a couple videos upcoming on um, my project at my investment house. I'm thinking about getting another investment house here in the near future. So there could be a barrage of videos headed your way. Comment down below. Uh, on if you have any suggestions on how to make yards green and beautiful and not like this. Stay tuned for more from Spirit of a Handyman.